how solar panels get fitted to roofs is one of the most common questions we have and that doesn't apply just to on-roof systems but it also applies to in-roof solar panel systems like this. So let's take a look at this job and I'll talk you through how the system's going on the roof and what it means for you if you're considering getting one of these systems on your own property. You can see behind me, this is an in-progress job. We've got the Viridan Solar, which is sometimes known as the Marley Roof System, and it's going in roof on this property. You can see here, the roof's had its breathable membrane fitted already. The lats are on, this has all been done by the builder and the roofing team on site. And then we've come along and we're starting to fit these panels. My name is Ben, I own an electrical and solar business based in Derby. We're called Electrical Innovations. And like I say, in this video, we're gonna have a look at the in-roof solar panel system, how they go on the roof, and answer some of the common questions we get about how these systems actually get fitted. The guys have already made a start on this one. As you can see, we've got four panels on already. The idea of these panels is they come with um, kind of a seal down the sides where the flashing kit, which is this, connects into. Now, if you're pl planning a job like this one and you want to know the order of things, the way it'll work is you're gonna to want to get all the lats and the membranes fitted and then it's watertight and then we can come along and fit the system. These will go directly to the lats. Now, different systems out there use different methods. There is the GSE system, which uses buckets um, and they're kind of trays that go onto the roof in place of the lats, so you would cut the lats for them. But the Viridan, Viridan system actually goes on top of the lats and it's a much more sturdy, sturdy and secure system. We really like this one. So as you can see from this end, you've got these attachments here where it screws directly to the lats that holds the panels in place. And then they kind of all clip together. So you've got more attachments in the center of the panels here. The flashing kit pushes in the bottom. And then all these troughs here get filled in by another flashing kit, which is here. And these all go in together. Um, I think the manufacturer's instructions say doing one panel at a time. We find them a bit easier to slide these in afterwards. It, it doesn't really matter. So compared to a standard solar installation, where we might just turn up, get all the work done ourselves and then leave, these do take a bit of planning with other trades. So in this one, the customer's obviously having an extension. He's got his own builders and roofers on site. So a bit of forward planning with that. It's been no problem at all. The guys just asked how we want things ready for us. Um, we asked for a couple of rows of towers on at the bottom and all the lats and uh, breathable membrane fitted. And we can come, get the panels on. That's gonna cover most of this roof. So it's gonna really reduce the amount of tiles that are actually having to be purchased, um, which usually makes up for the cost difference between your roofing kits. So a standard on-roof kit compared to an in-roof kit, the on-roof's gonna be quite a bit cheaper but when you're not taking into account all the extra tiles you have to buy as well, um, it can be more cost effective to just put the panels in roof on a new build like this. Obviously, if you're going for a retrofit and you're fitting these afterwards, you've got to consider there's an amount of extra labor on top of stripping the roof, getting rid of all the rubbish and things like that. So it can cost a little bit more on a retrofit, whereas for a, um, an extension work or new build works like this one, these are a perfect choice and I'd thoroughly recommend anyone considering this on your extension works just looking at how many tiles you're actually going to replace you can see here using these particular tiles we're about eight tiles high per panel and then the width obviously you can count these as one two three four five six per panel on the bottom so it's quite a lot of tiles in space of each individual panel and this 12 panel system that's going on this roof is actually going to replace about 500 tiles. So it's quite a lot of money's worth in tiles that you're saving having to purchase, and you can put that into your solar installation instead. So that's a brief rundown of an in-roof solar system. Um, we do lots of videos like this, so if you want to subscribe and follow along to see more, feel free to leave any questions below in the comments. If you want to know more about these types of systems or any other solar PV system, feel free to leave a comment and we'll try our best to get all the answers to those questions. Um, as I said at the start, we're solar installers based in Derby. We try and do these videos because when people come to us and ask questions, very easy to show the videos and show the answers to those questions that people are considering. So hopefully it's going to help you if you're at home researching these types of systems. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.